Welcome to Real Life Matters. My name is The Boss. I have a great lineup here. Yes, you see two people here sitting here. It's Mr. Turnup from Turnup Hot Sauce and Mrs. Turnup. So they're both here today and we're going to do a slight intro after, but I just got a couple things to mention, mention to you today about the show. So before we get to Mr. and Mr. Turnup, I'm going to tell you, well, hello, my name is The Boss. I come from the wild, wild west. Saskatchewan and I do the best to bring real life matters featuring the real people and bringing you the best lineup of guests from all walks of life showing their true self and their company their entertainment or whichever they do I that's what I that's when I talk things on my show I may not use these big extravagant words but what I do know them well <laughs> but um, I use the wording that I can relate with people from all diversities and all cultures and backgrounds. That's why when you get real with the boss, I, when I ask questions on my social media, please respond back because I, I do want to hear from you when I ask you a question. Follow me, Instagram, dboss underscore one, Facebook, sweet the boss is a hotel suite, not sweet like sugar, <laughs> and LinkedIn, dboss boss. <coughs> Also, follow GBKM TV on Facebook and YouTube and listen live at www.gbkm.fm. Also, this weekend, this Saturday, we will be doing African Musical Extravaganza, Extravaganza Festival at Nathan's Phillips Square, Saturday from 12 to, to 12 to 10. And I expect everybody to be there. It's a free event, so you know anything's free. Everybody likes to come out. So I hope that Mr. and Mrs. Tunup come out there too. 100%. <laughs> but anyways, with no further ado, I welcome both of you to the show. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for having us. These guys are going. I've seen Tunup <coughs> sauce here, Tunup <coughs> sauce all over the social media. Tunup, Tunup, Tunup. And now they're here on Real Life Matters. So can you guys tell us a little bit about your company, Nadine? This is Nadine Justice. They got so many different names. I'm sorry, people. <laughs> <laughs> Nadine Justice, Emmanuel Justice Solji. Solji means soldier. Just Justice, we could probably pronounce it Justice, but it means just us. How unique. Can you tell us about that? About which the one? Just us. Uh, he would explain that. Okay, all right. Well, I, took his, I, took <laughs> took his name. I took his name. I'm just the wife. <laughs> I'm just the wife. <laughs> okay, because Soldier, can you tell us a little bit about Justice? Yeah, Justice is a legal name change. Um, many years ago, I thought to myself that it would be time to, you know, you create in yourself a new person. And over the years, I've become a new person. From where we born, you're not given a, you know, you're given a name, but that name may not represent who you become in the flesh. <clears throat> so over the years I became a different person. Mm -hmm. So when I first came up with the name Justice, it represented myself and my daughter. And now it represents myself and my family. So it's, it stands for just us. So it's a family thing. Well that's, you know, that's really, that's real wonderful that you included your wife and you thought, you pre-thought everything. <laughs> you know, like you just pre-thought bringing up this um, hot sauce. But how did you get started in this? The hot sauce, <coughs> well the hot sauce. <laughs> the hot sauce came about because my wife, as beautiful and wonderful as she is, she doesn't like heat. She wasn't really a fan of, of the hot, the heat Cooking in, the, in the food. Cooking with pepper? Yeah. And, um, I don't like cooking with pepper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he likes to cook with a lot of pepper. So, so yes, you exactly. Cook with a lot of I cook with a lot of pepper. Oh, my God. And we couldn't come up with a, you know, we couldn't come up with a happy medium. So I said, okay, you know what? Since we can't come up to a happy medium, and we're in this for life. We're going to do up something different. We're going to come up with a hot sauce that has flavor and heat. So I came up with a flavorful hot sauce. It was, it's a mango flavored hot sauce. And originally when I had first come up with it, I didn't even have a name for it. I brought it to my pastor at church, author Reverend Dr. Seneth Brown, New Testament Church of Christ. <laughs> <coughs> and she loved it. And it, it just blossomed from there. It, it was a it was an inspiration for me, and I came home and I said, you know, what am I going to call this? This hot sauce is really good. So I said to myself, I said to my wife, I said, the hot sauce ton up, the hot <laughs> sauce really ton up, <laughs> literally. And, and you got to know how to say that word. Ton yeah, up, exactly. That's a Jamaican term. Yeah, and I'm Jamaican sure maybe term. I don't even pronounce it probably right, but you know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> tell people the right don't. way. I want to hear you say it how you said it earlier when we're off air. The Jamaican term is ton up. 
Total oh. pot size. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just that good. So that's really, that's the gist of it. It's just, it's just that good. Ton of pot sauce is a unique brand. It's a unique flavor. It's, it's got flavor and heat all in one. It's sweet with a burst of irresistible heat. It's something that when you put on your food, no matter what you put it on, be it Canadian food, West Indian food, Indian food, it enhances the flavor. And that's what I stand by. And I use it religiously. And now my wife uses it religiously. You use it religiously on everything. Religiously, Black everything. I take my time. I take my time. I put a little... I dab a little bit here. It, it does taste good. It does. I am getting accustomed to it. I am putting it on more and more, and I'm, you know, adjusting to the heat. So I do love it. It is awesome. Um, I used to use the little, um, the grease, <laughs> you know, little hot peppers. But it, that's just a little dab here and there. That doesn't have nothing. It doesn't do anything. So <laughs> this is in no comparison to that. And. Um, I'll stay at the, the regular because now he's turned it up a few <coughs> notches. So well, he said that you have you have a lot of different um, levels of heat. Yeah, I have three three levels of heat now. I have the original, which is um, I would refer to it as a medium hot. I have a spicy, and um, I used to use the term suicide. I'm going to gear away from suicide. I'm suicide. just going to say very hot because <laughs> of you know. So, but it's I it's think very hot. I a producer that can handle. <laughs> <laughs> If he can handle this sauce, we're going to try it after what's on some food. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, but it's hard for a lot of people to come up with a sauce. Because, you know, a lot of people make sauce and their sauces are not too. But your sauces seem to be hitting off. I'm seeing it everywhere. Yep. Like I'm seeing at barbecues. I'm seeing it on, at all different events. You know, Absolutely. it's a lot of events. And it doesn't last long. I brought it to the, the um, my wife's annual family picnic. And within an hour, I went back for the sauce, and the sauce was almost done. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I brought my own sauce, but the sauce was almost done. <laughs> so it's, I mean, it's literally just that good. People are really loving it. Yeah, so, people. So you can tell us a little bit about these, um, Nadine, the flavors? And uh, well, this now is the medium heat, so now we've labeled it with a black label. So when you see this, this is your regular. <coughs> and this it has is mango in it? Yes, they're, all mango yeah, they're all mango flavored. They're all mango flavored. They're all mango flavored. Just but different levels of just heat. Just different levels of heat. Oh, so geez. it's extra hot. So <laughs> this is the spicy with the gold seal. So spicy is medium hot or what's that? That's a little bit more. That's I this would call that hot. So hot. we got the medium hot, which is the, the, the most versatile of all. Okay. That's the one that's got that sweet taste with a burst of, you know, a, a sweet with a burst of irresistible heat. So that basically means that it's going to have that heat, lingering heat, but not overwhelming. Mm -hmm. So you can put that on anything. The second like one is the... Fish and stuff. Or yeah, you can put that on eggs. You can put on macaroni and, and cheese. And some people season it with their meats and put it in soup. Oh, so you, you put the seasoning actually on the meat Yeah, some people, yeah, yeah, some people are adding it. <laughs> <laughs> so you better make, make sure you read this label. <laughs> yeah, and okay. then this is the extra hot, very hot, the suicide hot. So that's the new level of heat. Okay, so now for you all you really can't love, who love pepper, this is the one for you. The ones that the one that really puts the fire to the tongue is the red label. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you know what? If you don't know which one it is. It's got you the red the fire label, it. that's it. Yeah, and then this is just another size that we have, the 250 ml, so it's a bigger size to this one. This is the 147 or 148? 148. 148 yeah. ml. So this is what we originally started out with. With these? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. And then we went to these, because these are a bit more versatile where people can carry and, you know, um, you give, give them gifts. another option, you know, something smaller, and then this is... You know, another, so this is the size of the 250 ml. So, this is the regular, and this one is the spicy one. That's the yeah. spicy one. Yeah, it so. It looks a little different. <coughs> Do they look, they vary in colors? Do yeah. Is so the peppers? Or? They yeah, based on the peppers, yeah. So, this, the spicy hat is a little bit greener. Okay. Um, and then the suicide hot would probably be a little bit, maybe. Well, you would think it would be red if it's, yeah. if it's hot, right? It just depends, yeah. So, um, but we have a good mix. We have a good variety to cater to everybody's level of um, their, taste their taste buds. So <laughs> he tried this. <laughs> he tried the suicide the other day, and he was on fire. It was, it was, it was hot. Hot. If you can't handle your own product, it was hot. <laughs> so and I taste he everything couldn't handle before his own heat. <laughs> well, so you know, it's, it's it's hot. You know, that's why you know some of us. Well, my mother used to always um, she puts hot sauce, and we said, you know, if you we all used to say, okay, here's the hot sides on the side. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, some people, absolutely. you know, they assume that everybody can handle some heat yeah yeah yeah. but i guess you you i can't 
I, I have to taste everything before it goes out. So you got to imagine when I make a batch of hot sauce, how hot my tongue is at the end of that that batch. It's 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 on fire. So do you make it at home and you bottle it, or you guys go someplace and? Uh, we go someplace and make it because it okay. has to be has to be commercially made. So yeah, yeah we definitely do that. Um, we we bottle it ourselves, but we make it in a in a commercial setting though. So. Yeah. Okay. To make sure all the so he's worked very hard on the labels as well, the designs. So, so was, it's that, was the logo a little bit less than? No, yeah. we uh, actually started <coughs> with just plain jars with no labeling, oh. and he got a designer to um, nice design, design his. Yeah. I his will say um, that uh, Jay makes it is the one who designed these logos. I have to put it out there. She did an awesome, phenomenal job designing these logos. I mean, I came up with the concept. I told her you know exactly what it is that I wanted the idea but she put it together and she did as you can see it an amazing it job it looks so, so good because it has you can see the coconuts and the pineapples and all the you know all the other stuff that you have in here and it's on fire so it's letting you know it's letting you know it's hot <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but you know what we're gonna do we're just gonna take um, a, a brief break and then we're gonna come back and you're gonna tell us a little bit more about the um, the hot sauces and how you're going to present and how where you're going from here absolutely and stuff like absolutely that. So, you know we'll just take a little a brief moment All and right. we'll be right back with real life matters sounds good <laughs> open the door uh, where is this driver now I, what's wrong with you she will not respect the bid. You cannot respect the staff. Don't you know that they are, they are crowned me? Ah, ah, be a seal. Oh, bank ya. Yeah. Oh, bank ya. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I did not know. Don't no problem. No problem. Uh, 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 don't tell me that you are among the kings that will follow the only of if his imperial majesty to Canada from August 1st to August 16th, 2019 for the Caribbean Carnival that is packaged by Prince George Entertainment and Hope for Sure Foundation. Is it true, sir? Ah, so you say you have here. <laughs> you are, your informants are, they are right, oh. It's true, it's true. It's true. Hey, you are hey, can I be a few? Hey? I also heard that there will be Calabar Carnival in the diaspora. Yeah, that, that's true, that's true. So Calabar will be, will be uh, awarded here yeah, because they want to do Calabar Festival at this thing. Who that has Calabar? Calabar, Calabar, not Calabar. <laughs> okay, we say all the Calabar girls that they will come and dance and be, you know, shaking bum bum. They will be coming there, they are there too. Okay, okay. Coming. Uh, can I be a few, please? Uh, are there other kings like yourself? that will come for this event. <laughs> I have many of my colleagues in the king industry. Yes, so. be there. King industry. Yes, we have a King Roro who will be there. We have a King uh, Yomi Fashtaso. We have King uh, Adebayo Salami. We now have a uh, Oba Wuli Agba. And we oh also have a King Islatan. That's Oba Islatan. Uh, Zlatan music industry. <laughs> now, yeah. He's not an Oba. Who oh. told you? Are you there for his coronation? <laughs> Which Oba you said? You can call me Oba Femi Martin or call me Oba Tope. Jesus. Oh, bank here. Yeah. Ah, Oba, you can lie. <laughs> you got it. This is no Mama, this is no tubu. Ah, this is no tubu. Welcome back, everybody, to Real Life Matters. I'm the boss. I'm here with Mr. Tunup and Mrs. Tunup of Tunup Hot Sauce. <laughs> so, welcome back. We were just talking a little bit of off air about his sauces. You can see here. Is, and on, and it was just explaining how he makes the batches and how he does the batches and he tastes all his food. So, anyways, welcome back. <laughs> I just want to know, you know, you say you're taking, you're taking your business. Are these in the stores now, or? Uh, they're currently in three locations right now. We haven't brought it to the store level. They uh, they are located at uh, Delight Food at Jane and Shoreham. Uh, that's a restaurant. Fantastic food. Uh, the Gospel Cafe, I've collaborated with the Gospel Cafe, Colin, as well as the Jerk Express Truck. All three of these uh, places, you can obtain the sauce. In fact, you can go there, you can try the hot sauce for free, you can put it on your food, and you can purchase a bottle. Um, both of these places have fantastic food, amazing people, mm -hmm. really, really great collaboration. Um, I do intend on marketing this um, you know, in the new year, hoping to get it into supermarkets, stores, things of that nature. Uh, just there's a bit of logistics behind it to making sure that you prep yourself properly, but it is definitely something that I anticipate doing. You're doing okay. for because sure. It takes time to get in, and but you're you're doing a fantastic job and marketing this and putting it out there for people to try. And I and I do you know encourage people to get it. You, they're very relatable people. They talk to people all the time. They tell you about the sauces. And I'm going to try some of this sauce when I get <laughs> And my it's mom great. and a lot of other people, everybody here is going to try some. <laughs> so when you're, when you're actually doing your, you know, when you had, you know, when you thought of it, I know you talked and touched on it a little bit earlier, right? right? When, you know, you just said, you know what, let me just do a sauce or, you know, I just want to know what came behind <coughs> that. That's literally just, what happened. I, I had just decided that I was tired of buying hot sauce. 
on the road. And a lot of the time when I buy hot sauce, and I, and I never want to knock a competitor, but the reality is this. When you buy hot sauce, you get a lot of heat with no flavor. And that's the biggest thing for me. I wanted something that would add flavor to my food with the heat. So, I mean, I'm a cook. My wife's a cook. We both cook. Ooh. So I wanted something that just gives it that that kazam, you know, like this, that nice texture, heat. And, but it and, has some, because a lot, of, a lot of hot sauce has a lot of vinegar in it. And yes, exactly. That, you know, too much vinaigrette. And, and there's something um, else that you put in it, too, that starts getting you that, you know, a heart burn. Heart burn, yeah. Get yeah. Get, yeah, yeah, you get feeling the, the heart burn in your chest and stuff. Yeah, the products that I use are all natural. There's nothing on the label that's hidden. There's nothing that's not on the label. Everything is natural. There is vinegar in it, of course, citric acid, lime juice, carrot, mango. But it's all natural. There's no unnatural preservatives. That's the way I want to keep it. That's the way I like it. It's what gives it the flavor. It's what gives it the texture. And it's what keeps it real. You know, once you start adding those preservatives to it, sure, it'll give it a longer shelf life. But at the end of the day, it's going to take away from the quality and what you're putting into your body. And that's what I believe in. That's but what important. you're telling a lot of people, though, they don't even last. Like he goes someplace and there, it's gone. Oh, it's gone. I, they put it on the shelf and, and people just, they're just using Eating it up. It I up. mean, <laughs> everywhere I've brought it to, it, it just doesn't last long. You know, it's, it's just that good. But it's good to have of something with flavor. You know, this is like you did a mango. Did you just decide to do mango, or is I it, just, you do, or do you do? Are you going to be doing? I'm going to be branching off into other flavors as well, um, because I'm still in the process of mastering this and making sure that it brands itself. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I am thinking that between now and into the new year, I would like to venture into possibly uh, pineapple, for example. Um, you know, Everybody basically all the, yep, absolutely. I want to hit the tropical flavors and that's why the logo is, is showing the, you know, the tropical fruits because that's my, that's the avenue I like to go with. So I want to get it, I want to get it out there so that it always has the same consistent sweetness with the heat, but I want to keep it flavorful. Yeah. And that's important because some, some sausage are just so hot. Elvis is pepper, yeah, pepper, you pepper have, down. Yeah. You can't taste you the food. It's too food. hot. It's yeah, it's too hot. hot. You like, just be burning up. You're, you're, you're trying to put butter in your mouth or whatever. You're trying to do. <laughs> I don't even know if that works anymore. But I, I heard that people say that they put butter, they put that in your mouth if it's, oh, yeah. it's too hot. But you know, it's good that you have something like a sauce that is very, very flavorful. Absolutely. Very, you know, and like it's a it's process something that you could put it on anything because Literally. some sauces you can't put. You know, back in the day, people use what is it, Tabasco, but that's gone so. Yep. It's gone viral, but it's all it's all vinaigrette. <laughs> you can put this on it's your all, eggs. It's most of that? Yeah, a lot a lot of those sauces are made out of just that, or they're made with so much heat that you can't taste your tongue after. What's the purpose in that? You know, for myself personally, I, I want to have that flavor. You know, you, you can cook your food, you can please your wife, your husband, your kids, and you can still have that flavor on the side, you know. And it's not gonna it's not gonna do them harm if they swallow it, if they ingest it, you know. The most will get us a little bit of a little bit of a hot tongue. But hey, <laughs> <laughs> but they'll survive. <laughs> you know, it's, it's memorable. <laughs> yep. But you know, I, I really do like the packaging and how you guys go. Do you guys have a, a team or anything like that? Are you looking to just, those? A, just the, the two of us? It just we we <laughs> just, are the dream team. The just justices. Us, just just the us. Two. Yep. But you know, that's good. You're starting off with something your passion that you like. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Doing, you know that this is this is you. It is. And you know what? And customer service plays a part in this as well. And I want to say thank you to all of my customers, to each and every person that has done a repost, each and every person that has bought a bottle of hot sauce. Um, you know, not a lot of people get to sample it first. It's word of mouth. And that's what's getting out there. People are talking about the hot sauce and they're saying, hey, you know what? It's just that good. And that's why people are buying it. But I, I touch base with everybody. I just don't sell you on a bottle and say, okay, thanks for your business. What's important to me is to ensure that you're actually satisfied with the product you're getting because I use it and I eat it religiously. And that's important. And I don't ever want to get so big on the chain that I forget about the people that supported me from the bottom. I always want to be that guy that you can come to and say, you know what, Emmanuel, Mr. Tunup, I love that hot sauce and I got you. That you know, I want to keep it that way. And, and, and that's a good that's a good uh, model to found, you know, to follow for your product because mm -hmm. people send to, they see the product, but now you're meeting the people that's behind it. it. You know, it's a team because it's two. That's yes. it. That's it. I guess two or more makes a team, right? Yes. That's so it. just just by yourself. Did your children or anybody else help you, or just it's just? Um, my daughter helps me to promote it. She puts it out there, and I'm and I'm really grateful for that. My wife, of course. Um, you know, my stepson, he's always in the mix whenever we do events. 
um, you know, so it's an absolute wife blessing. Wife support is important, right? <laughs> happy wife, happy life. <laughs> <laughs> that is somebody the truth. Else, somebody else said that before too. Yeah, it's a known fact. Oh and she God. sees the stress that I go through because it is stressful at times, you know. Sometimes things don't pan out. Sometimes things don't work out the way you want it to when you're in the kitchen. But you know what? you got to try, try again. And we have events coming up. Um, we're going to be at um, an event uh, Saturday, August 5th. No, Monday. Um, no, Monday. sorry, Monday. Monday, August 5th, there's going to be um, an, a barbecue in Chincuzi Park. Um, it's free of charge. That's in Brampton? Yeah. Out in Brampton. Out in Brampton, yeah. yeah. Okay. Embrace Women's uh, Services. Embrace Women's Services. Oh, if you guys, okay. anybody wants to come out, you, free samples will be given. Free food will be given, complimentary meals, support myself, ton of hot sauce, my wife, Embrace Women's Services. Uh, we're going to be out in Brampton again on August 17th. So there's events that we're going to be hosting that people can come out. They can take advantage of taking, you know, some free samples and put it on your food and, and you know, free of charge. Try it out. See if you like it. I guarantee you're going to like it. And you're going to want to take it home. <laughs> You really are. <laughs> well, we're taking some of this home. Oh, 100%. 100%. <laughs> we got to leave when I'm home at your office because you have a home office. Yeah, and then you for have sure. your house home. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And absolutely. Then you, absolutely. Because this is something, you know, I'm just looking at it and it just, you know, it's just. It pops. The branding it pops, is good. Yeah. The, the, the label, the black, be, the black behind this. Look at this. I'm just saying, wow, you know, you guys really put this product together. Yes. So if anybody has to um, look up, look for you guys, and I know the name is Tana. <laughs> they, can, they can find you on social media. They can yep. inbox you. Can you tell people where? Uh, you can Google it. If you type in Tana Pot Sauce, it's going to come up. My Facebook page is Tana Pot Sauce 19. Uh, my IG page is Tana Pot Sauce. It's all one word. Uh, my Gmail is Tana Pot Sauce at gmail.com. Uh, I don't currently have a website yet, but I'm looking forward to uh, launching that in the near future. But I'm very easy to find. Go on Google, type in ton of pot sauce, and I guarantee we're going to well, pop up. You're the only ton of, the <laughs> we are the only, the only ton, ton of pot sauce out there. Soldier Justice ton, <laughs> ton of, They see you all over. That you is know, it. really doing a good job on that. Mm -hmm. on your promoting, social, yeah. Absolutely. Promoting it because it's everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Yep. But, you know, and this is not your only thing you do, right? Mm. You do your work. Oh, absolutely. You, yep. work, you guys work, you yes. know, you, you work your job. Yep. But that means you've got to put a lot of time. It's a lot a of time lot and effort. A lot of time because you're, you're working your real job and you're putting, you're bringing mm. this forward. Yeah. yeah, we're branding it. We're working on it. And I and I believe in this product and I believe that it's 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 going to elevate, you know. God's will is going to elevate. This is a really good hot sauce and it's it's going to elevate. It's blessed. It is blessed, hundred percent. Because that's what he told me, right? <laughs> Absolutely. And if you see me, and I mean, if you drive behind me and you decide to tailgate me, take down my information. It's on the back of my window as well. Hey, no problem. Well, you Get got a little the, you closer. You got this up in the window. I got it on the oh. back of my windshield. For anybody who wants to tailgate me, it's just yeah. that good. And it's they, there. And they got the hats. Too. Yeah. They didn't bring us a hat over here, but maybe we get one later. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. We can work that we out. See, we don't see much of these kind of hats. These hats are. We're we're looking at uh, in the thing. future branching off into something else. Apparel, um, yeah, we're probably probably looking into apparel, apparel because we believe that ton up is not just it's not just a hot sauce. It's it's just the the lingo, the slang in itself. It's you know ton up is, is a way of life. Mm -hmm. So look forward to in the future ton up apparel. Women, men, you guys Whoa. are going to want to wear this. You're going to want to put it out there. <laughs> Tonopa is going to get big. I truly believe in this. God's will, it's going to get big. I really do. I see it. I think, my, I think, my, I think yeah. the Lord has his hands on this, and I truly believe this is going to blossom. Because when did you start this? You just started. Five months ago. Literally maybe five months ago. Yeah. Going on maybe, yeah, maybe six months. And six we've, months. we've come a long way. It's been He's an absolute done a lot. blessing. He, he puts a lot of time and effort into it. He eats, live, breathe, sleep, turn up. <laughs> I turn up is 24-7, and I hear it every day, <laughs> all day. <laughs> he's in the phone, he's on, he's like, he does his research, he gets the printing, he's like Mr. Perfectionist, because he wants to put a proper product out there with excellence, with great appeal to the people, you know, he doesn't want to do, put out foolishness and garbage, right. so he puts a lot of time into it and thought into it, he's very creative. He's very gifted in that area, so he has, you know, amazing talent, and this is a product of some of the creativity that he's been blessed with. And you guys be a millionaire. Don't forget us here at <laughs> Never. <laughs> Never. <laughs> you know, don't forget us at all. <laughs> you'll, you'll have your full supply of ton of pot sauce. You know, for a company that's six months, you know, I thought you, I thought you guys were out longer, maybe a year or plus. I, yeah. You know, we thought it was long mm -hmm. because the way how it's promoted and it's and it's out there i mm -hmm. thought it was longer than that yeah you know, it's been it's, a it's, work it's in progress it feels long and maybe you, well maybe you can say in the spiritual realm it was yeah. something like that absolutely so i really you know this is 
this is something here. And then you're talking about the, the, the apparel. Yeah, we are looking into that. Absolutely. And then that's why we brand the hats. And I think that, um, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely something in the making. Um, you know, it's, it's baby steps and it's progressive movements and it's in God's time, but it's in the making. And the hat, the hat suits um, the product. Absolutely. It's not a cap. It's a, it's a you know, you could turn up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you could, you could turn up. Did you put a lot of thought into your hat too? Um, I, you know, I thought I thought about a way of just putting the brand out there, and I said, you know what, this is not just like just the the flames, the logo, the ton up. I said to myself, this can go bigger. This doesn't have to be, you know, the sky's the limit. When God puts His hands on something, it can be, you know, the, the sky's the limit. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna brand this not just as a hot sauce, but I'm gonna brand. I'm gonna go bigger than that because mm -hmm. I believe in this and I believe that. You know we're gonna go bigger than that yeah, yeah because the hats you know you don't see a lot of people but they either have a cap like this here but they this this is very different and yeah. it suits and it really does suit the, you know this this brand and it suits you guys because mm -hmm. it shows relax home barbecue mm -hmm. yep. everyday life yeah. what that's you're it. doing real turn up yeah real turn up matter it. you know what <laughs> put it on anything <laughs> it represents you can put a ton up on anything believe yeah. me <laughs> Well, we're gonna try some this ton of <laughs> yeah absolutely. yeah, absolutely. But you know, you give some, you give out samples when you go out. You know, a little sample so you can try. It. Oh but yeah, I guess the yeah, samples yeah. kind of run out. Any of the events that we have, we always give out free samples. Uh, we, you know, we we love giving out free samples. We want to put it out there. Free samples is, you know, it's it's a part of the whole customer service. Um, you know, you have to. There's people out there that are hesitant. You know, it's a product that people don't know about or have heard about. They they haven't tried themselves. So you know what? If you're confident in your product, you have no problem putting out a sample. And nine times out of ten, when somebody tries a sample they're going to want to buy it well, and how much is it since you mentioned well, like the, uh, bottle the smaller bottle? bottles right now are $7.99 and the bigger bottles are $9.99 okay and we do have other orders you can purchase I mean we have the some, bulk, some right? yeah we, we can we, you can purchase it in bulk we have some hot sauce lovers that want it like they really want it. they want to buy a liter you know I don't have a problem accommodating that you can message me and we can talk more about it but it is an option there is option for larger quantities for people that just can't get enough of the hot sauce so you can get get a bigger like the little oh, yeah, bottle. Oh yeah, absolutely. So you can get a liter, liter of it. In, is it in a jar or what? It, was it would just be in a larger, in a larger jar. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Right, My well, special order, you know. That's special. a special order. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Then, you know, this is not a bad price for uh, you know for hot sauce for seven ninety nine. Yeah, for a natural made hot sauce, why not? This here and probably and probably if you got a big one of the hot hot one, what is that one? The spicy one? Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Probably, that'll probably <coughs> last me for two months. Yeah. By putting a little bit of you know your spices and stuff on it. A little goes a long way, as they say, you know, mm -hmm. so it, it's it's just that good. All right. Well, I do want to thank you. Thank you. Know, you. For coming today and telling everybody about this wonderful product. And these people can see the people behind it. Yeah. That's so, it. you know, call them, call them, get the hot sauce in your house. You know, it's a home. It's going to be a, a, a real home thing that everybody's going to be yeah. mentioning. Turn up, turn up. And it's not just only for the Jamaican community, it's for no, everybody no, else. No, that's, everybody. it's versatile. This hot everybody. sauce is for anybody. There is absolutely no discrimination. If you like hot sauce, you're going to like ton up. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm not knowing. <laughs> 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 but I thank you, Nadine, thank you. Mrs. Ton up, you know, and, and Solji, Mr. Ton up. That's you it. know, so you can get all their names because they got a lot of names, but you know what? It all <laughs> meshes together to make sense. Absolutely. You know? So I do want to thank you today for coming thank on you. Real Life Matters, and I do welcome you to come back. We want to say, I want to see how you're doing in a couple few months. Hundred percent. It was an absolute pleasure being on the show. I'm, I awesome. am ecstatic. Thank, thank you, you so for much. Us. <laughs> All right, amazing. and I, I'll be back with my next guest, um, Sakura. She's um, a, a reggae-based uh, reggae artist, and she's <coughs> going to be coming here, and we're going to talk a little bit about her. So, anyways, we'll stay tuned, and we'll be right back.
Open the door. Uh, where is this driver now? Come sir. I, what's wrong with you? She will not respect the bid. You cannot respect the staff. Don't you know that they are, they are crowned me? Uh, oh, bank here. Oh, bank here. Bank here. Bank here. Bank here. I did not know. Don't no problem. No problem. Uh -huh. uh, don't tell me that you are among the kings that will follow the only of if his imperial majesty to Canada from August 1st to August 16th, 2019 for the Caribbean Carnival that is packaged by Prince George Entertainment and Hope for Sure Foundation. Is it true, sir? Ah, so you say you have here. <laughs> you are, your informant, are, they are right. Oh. It's, it's true. It's true. It's true. Yeah. You are hey, you. Eh? I also heard that there will be Calabar Carnival in the diaspora. Yes, that, that's true. That's true. So Calabash will be, will be uh, awarded here yeah, because they want to do Calabar Festival at this thing. Who that has Calabar? Calabar, Calabar, not Calabash. <laughs> okay, so we say all the Calabar girls that they will come and dance and be, you know, shaking bum bum. They will be coming there. They are there too. Okay, are okay. Uh, Kabiyasi, please. Uh, are there other kings like yourself? That will come for this event. <laughs> I have many of my colleagues in the king industry. Yes, so. be there. King industry. Yes, we have a King Roro who will be there. <laughs> we have a King uh, Yomi Fashtaso. We have King uh, Adebayo Salami. We now have a uh, Oba Wuli Agba. And we oh also have a God. King Islatan. That's Oba Islatan. Uh, Zlatan music industry. <laughs> now, yeah, he's he, not an Oba. Who told you? Were you there for his coronation? <laughs> Which Oba you said? You can call me Oba Femi Martin or call me Oba Tope. Jesus. Oh, bank here. Ah, oh, bank, you can lie. You got it. This is no Mama, this is no Ah, this is no Zubu. Open the door. Uh, where is this driver now? Come sir. I. What is wrong with you? She will not respect the bid. You cannot respect the staff. Don't you know that they are, they are crowned me? Ah, uh, uh, Oh, bank here. Oh, bank here. Uh, I did not know. Don't no problem. No problem. Uh, uh, don't tell me that you are among the kings that will follow the only of if his imperial majesty to Canada from August 1st to August 16, 2019 for the Caribbean Carnival that is packaged by Prince George Entertainment and Hope for Sure Foundation. Is it true, sir? Ah, so you say you have here. <laughs> you are, your informant, are, they are right, oh. It's true, it's true. It's true. Uh, you are, uh, can I be you? Uh, I also heard that there will be Calabar Carnival in the diaspora. Yes, yeah, that, that's true, that's true. So Calabash will be, will be uh, awarded here yeah, because they want to do Calabar Festival at this thing. Who that has Calabash? Calabar, Calabar, not Calabash. <laughs> okay, so we say all the Calabar girls that they will come and dance and be, you know, shaking bum bum. They will be coming there, they are there too. Okay, okay. Come uh, can I be you, please? Uh, are there other kings like yourself that will come for this event? <laughs> I have many of my colleagues in the king industry. Yes, that will be there. King industry. Yes, we have a King Roro who will be there. We have a King uh, Yomi Fashtaso. <laughs> we have King uh, Adebayo Salami. We now have a uh, Oba Wuli Agba. And we oh also have a King Islatan. That's Oba Islatan. Uh, Zlatan music industry. <laughs> now, yeah, he's, he's not an Oba. Who told you? Were you there for his coronation? <laughs> Which Oba you said? You can call me Oba Femi Martin or call me Oba Tope. Jesus. Oh, bank here. Ah, Oba, you can lie. <laughs> you got it. This is Nuzu. Mami, this is Nuzu. Ah, this is Nuzu. Open the door. Uh, where is this driver now? Come sir. I, what is wrong with you? She will not respect the bid. You cannot respect the staff. Don't you know that they are, they are crowned me? Ah, uh, sir. Oh, bank here. Oh, bank here. Uh, sir. I did not know. Don't no problem. No problem. Uh, 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 sir. Don't tell me that you are among the kings that will follow the only of if his imperial majesty to Canada from August 1st to August 16, 2019 for the Caribbean Carnival that is packaged by Prince George Entertainment and Hope for Sure Foundation. Is it true, sir? Ah, so you say you have here. <laughs> you are, your informant, are, they are right, oh. It's true, it's true. It's true. Uh, you are, uh, can I be you? Uh, I also heard that there will be Calabar Carnival in the diaspora. Yes, yeah, that, that's true, that's true. So Calabash will be, will be uh, awarded here yeah, because they want to do Calabar Festival at this thing. Mm -hmm. Who that has Calabar? Calabar, Calabar, not Calabash. <laughs> okay, so we say all the Calabar girls that they will come and dance and be, you know, shaking bum bum. They will be coming there, they are there too. Okay, okay. Come uh, can I be you, please? Uh, are there other kings like yourself that will come for this event? <laughs> I have many of my colleagues in the king industry. Yes, so. be there. King industry. Yes, we have a King Roro who will be there. <laughs> we have a King uh, Yomi Fashtaso. <laughs> we have King uh, Adebayo Salami. We now have uh, Oba Wuli. Welcome back, everybody, to Real Life Matters, and I'm the boss. I have here in the studio, live and direct from Jamaica, uh, Sakura. She's a Jamaican based reggae singer and songwriter. Sakura is one of the scenes, one of the scenes breakout stars. She keeps it authentic, mixed with that old soul depth and mystical balance.
Sakura was on a promotional tour in, in Canada in February promoting Mo Love Motion, new single being featured by I Know Her, produced by Dreammakers Entertainment. She's here today, Chica. Um, she, Dreammaker, her distinctive, smooth, soulful, lover's rock sound can be described as being reminiscent of Lauren Hill and a strong delivery compared to Diana King. So no, with no other further ado, I welcome Sakura. <laughs> <laughs> Give me such a big head. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh well, this is what they're saying about you, and everybody says so. They have to know about you. They're saying that you sound like Lauren Hill. Wow. Now that's a big, I'm, a, I'm a big, so a big name there. I'm very humbled, and I'm receiving the comment. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. That's no problem. And you're here from Jamaica. Yes, I'm here from Kingston, Jamaica. Big up to our people because I always like to know. So you can shout out them. Big up they Jamaica. Watch. Big up Water House. You don't know the whole thing. Lockdown for in the building. Woo. The boss lady here. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, my thanks for having me. All right. I, can you tell us a little bit about how Sakura is your real name or is that your stage name? Well, Sakura is my stage name. Okay. Mm. And how did you come up with it? Uh, I was very young. <laughs> I was some time ago in, in, in the early years, you know, I saw myself going through a crisis and mm -hmm. I needed to re reinvent myself. So I had to put on this, my creative head and create this whole new person and give her a name. And that name stemmed from everything that I've been through in my life oh, to this day. So it every time i hear it it brings me strength and bring me hope and make me know that i can do you know great things so every time i hear my name it just i feel so humble <laughs> well you're doing great things because you're here in toronto yes where a lot of festivals are going on and, yes, and i yes, guess yes. you're you know your your dream makers entertainment your manager got you all over the place she, and she probably got too busy she has been working <laughs> over time <laughs> i'm just so grateful to have a manager like chico you know what i mean dream makers of the world so can you tell us a couple of people that you've worked with i've worked with a lot of persons i've worked with and when you say work with you mean like artists artists or you can both like all that. all the above okay That's so it. i've worked with um bobby digital you know bobby digital mm -hmm. is a big name in the the reggae music industry i've worked with mr pottinger i've worked with um ernie wills i've worked with dream makers entertainment artists i've worked with i know and you know i've worked with um uh, uh conscience i've worked with conscience, conscience. yes Ooh, that's a big one Before there i've worked with conscience um way back when i was working with um bobby digital i also work with mighty mics from the from jamaica's um international um national radio station that's okay yeah <laughs> so that's you worked with a lot of people yes yes and yes. then you put together some videos also right yes i did these videos on my own before i met dream makers entertainment so you know you did them on your own it was a lot of money Production. production yeah, it's <laughs> <laughs> because it's hard. Production, I know, yeah, I know for the entertain sometimes it's hard because to but, put your videos out and stuff because of thing, money. The thing about it is that, you know, I try my best to create good quality music, good quality content because I want all my viewers, all my audience, all my fans to be appreciative of, you know, good work. Good work know? and, and they love good work. So I don't want to short step them no time. Quality is all that I'm going to be delivered to okay. them. All right, and so when you do your videos, can you tell us a little bit about the one that you've that you've um, produced? Maybe not your most recent one, because she's going to perform later. And I can't wait. <laughs> so can you tell us about some of some of the ones, the songs, what how you came up with, with the concept and stuff like this one? Okay, so the first one was skin. All right, skin. Yes. <laughs> okay. Skin. I created skin from a poetry that I did. You know, because I also um, write poetry and stuff like that. And um, me and the producer and I, we were talking about doing a video. So he was telling me that, you know, I have to do a video. And I'm like, I have to do it. It's my first time. <laughs> you know, I don't know anything about video production and All stuff right. like that. But, you know, as a creator, you have to put yourself in a, a frame of mind. You right. can't really tell yourself that you've never done or you can't do. You know what I right. mean? So I sit down and I wrote down that script. I wrote down everything. And then I 
did some meeting with some directors mm -hmm. and I brought the storyline to them and they're like, okay, yeah, we can get you these shots and stuff like that. But then they say that I have to get everything on my own. So, you know, wardrobe, everything, the actors, everything Ooh, I have to get lot. on my own. So I don't, I don't think of it as a lot. I think of it as a creative process and it, it, it just brought me in a journey where I'm dif discovering things about myself that I've never known that I could have done. Right. So when when it was finished and I looked at it, I just I'm just at awe because I I, I still can't believe that I even did that. I, it was my first. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm right now. I'm just glad that I have Dream Makers. It takes a Well, thank good. No, but can you tell us a little bit about skin? Yes. So skin. Okay, so Skin is the first single of my upcoming album, mm -hmm. Rustic Energy. You know, um, when I first met the producer of that song, I met him in 2015, and I did an audition with okay. him. And he was like, you know what, I didn't have to go any further. I hear your voice. I want to work with you. Originally, Skin was for um, Black Tiger, you know, because they heard about me. They wanted me to to record a song, a single for them and stuff like that. So I wrote the song, went into the studio with Mr. Pattinger. You know, he hear okay. me. He, he had to, um, uh, how you say this now? He had to, um, well, I have to perform for him first. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. And then I did the song, went into the studio, did the song. He loved the song, but unfortunately... Things, you know, fall apart. I couldn't um, continue with Black Tiger music, so I had to finish the project with Mr. Pattinger, and we did it, and that was that. And originally, it is from, I created it from a poetry that I wrote about, um, you know, an experience in my life. Oh. Oh, there's a lot of things about <laughs> experience in your life. Well, can we hear a little bit of skin? Because you're not singing that, you're not singing those two. You're not singing skin today, are you? Well, I can see. No, I you're not. So you sent me two. I don't think it's skin. So can we just hear a little bit of skin? Hold Aka. me, control me, show me what you've got. Don't stop, don't stop, boy, cause I like it like that. My love takes you high places you've never been. In. Now, baby, please just relax. And watch me flow deep beneath your skin. <laughs> yeah, girl! <laughs> she can sing. <laughs> I really you know like what? it. I really like, you know, because skin. Because, you know, because you're thinking, because I was just saying, what's behind skin? You know, is your skin. Yes. Skin um, is a skin, lot. Skin is a very intimate song where you meet a person, you're feeling that person. You're not only feeling the person physically, but spiritually, mentally, Ooh. emotionally. You know, that intellectually, both of you connecting <laughs> in a certain kind of way. Where when the Don't love get making <laughs> is, mm -mm. you know, is happening, it's like, you you know, when you feel that, that goosebumps underneath the skin. What coming is up, so this? So... <laughs> Basically, that is what Skin is saying. You know, I feel you. I, 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 I connect with you. You know yes. what I mean? I'm feeling you just relax and watch me flow deep beneath your skin because I'm going to allow you to feel me Woo! like how I'm feeling you. So that is what Skin is Okay, doing. well, I'm going to tell that to somebody because that is really something. <laughs> you got the people here in the studio jumping up and down. <laughs> So we, we can't, everybody can't wait to hear you perform mm -hmm. the songs. You have here, you have your, it's a CD here. Mm -hmm. What's it called? Fat Tracks, Sakura. Yeah, that was, um, Fat Tracks is the, 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 the record for these singles that is on here. Yes. Yeah, so okay. we have Skin. We have the, Tell you Me just How You Feel. Skin, Undercover Lover, I Can't Sleep, and Revolution. Okay, can you tell us about this Undercover Lover? I want to hear, the, I want to hear how she explains it. <laughs> <laughs> So basically, <laughs> Undercover Lover is the continuation of skin. You know what I mean? So now I'm, I'm able to describe this person on a more intellectual level. The type of man that really knows how to take care of his woman. You know, without even, uh, you don't even have to explain to him. He knows he what, know to, what do. to do. He knows what to do. And because of 
of the type of man that he is. No, you don't want to share a man like that. No. You know, what I mean? you know how to <laughs> You oh want to keep him to yourself, but that is why undercover lover is being said because we want to keep him to yourself. Your mind like a secret. Me no one, not other else girl know oh about you. Oh gosh, know I, mean? yeah. I don't even want and to if they don't to let no boat, I just want to keep, keep you, to so keep you because you don't want nobody. But if they don't know who are the undercover lovers, then they can listen to this song, right? Yes, <laughs> and, definitely. And revolution. Okay, let me hear. Revolution. So revolution. Revolution. Alright. So here I am in Jamaica. I'm writing all these music and stuff like that for the album. And one morning I wake up and I saw this this thing on the news where there was a lot of war going on worldwide. You know, you have war in America where black people being shot down and stuff like that by police. You find that people in um Arabia, um Israel, all these different kind of places. I remember seeing children literally being drowned mm. and, 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 and tossed to the, the seashore, you know, hundreds of children dying in the oceans and stuff like that because they're trying to get away from war. Every time I say this, I get emotional. Jeez. No. I'm sorry. I, I it's mean, okay. This is real life matters. This is so, what they want to see you. They want they, People want to see you like this. That's good. But it's a, you know. So when I saw it, it was, it was like a burden. You know, because I'm a woman and, you know, coming out of the womb from my mother, that makes you automatically a mother, you know, as, as a woman, you know what I mean? So when mm -hmm. I see that, it really, it hurts me so much. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't even have a child yet. And, and the way that it affected me, I literally had to write about that because we're living in revelation time. That's right. You know what we I are. mean? We're living yes. in revelation time. And we have to save the children because they are the future of tomorrow yes, these yes. are the generation of tomorrow we That's have to right. teach them we have to hug them we have to tell them that we love them because see what's happening you understand what i mean right so <laughs> i know Woo! but can you tell everybody secure where they can find you because you're we're going to get a performance ah. just shortly <laughs> okay so you can you can find me at sicora s-y-c-o-r-a-h and this is my brand sicora Again, let me just say it slower. S Y C O R A H. And for bookings, you can find me at dreammakersent.com. And let me let me spell that out for you as well. Um, dreammakersent. It's the info at dreammakers.com. I N F O at D R E A M M A K E R S ent dot com, and the number is six four seven seven zero three three seven three nine. Dream make info at dreammaker sent dot com. Well, we got the scent. <laughs> We can get all that. Everything happen, you know what I mean? Yeah, yes. and, and and she does because that's you know that's what she does. That's what she yes, does. Most definitely. But anyways, we are going to take a brief break. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm going to see you on the other side yes. <laughs> for those two for the two songs that she's going to be performing. So everybody, just stay tuned mm -hmm. with us here at Real Life Matters, and we will be back back with the live performance from Sakura. About to shut down the family of Osage Musumusu. Invite all of Unamuna come follow us, Jolly Fikit, for this Obunge marriage when it happened August 24, 2019. For inside executive banquet or when did they call Sparanza Banquet Hall? When it day 310 the host drive for Brampton. Papa, Mama, the jollification will start for four in the evening and we will do and we will enjoy ourselves till 12 in the morning now who go day there to cover around when everybody go free watch live for anywhere in the world jbk mfm naim go cover around live all the way to get more to read make you now wire us for 647-704-0282 or 647-989-4741 or 647-8 
Toruto is about to shut down. The family of Osage Musumusu invite all of Unamu Una come follow us Jolly Fikit for this Obunge marriage when it happened August 24, 2019. For inside executive banquet or when did they call Sparanza Banquet Hall? When it day 310 that host drive for Brampton. Papa, Mama, the jollification go start for 4 in the evening and we go do and we go enjoy ourselves till 12 in the morning. Now who go day there to cover them when everybody go free watch live for anywhere in the world. GBKMFM Naim go cover them live all the way. To get more to it, make you now wire us for 647 704 282 or 647 Toruto is about to shut down. The family of Osage Musumusu invite all of Unamu Una come follow us Jolly Fikit for this Obunge marriage when it happened August 24, 2019. For inside executive banquet or when did they call Sparanza Banquet Hall? When it day 310 that host drive for Brampton. Papa, Mama, the jollification go start for 4 in the evening and we go do and we go enjoy ourselves till 12 in the morning. Now who go day there to cover them when everybody go free watch live for anywhere in the world. GBKMFM Naim go cover them live all the way. To get more to it, make you now wire us for 647 704 0282 or 647 or 647-803-6584 My people The Oka When it pass pass Gas gas Mari Mash Toruto is about to shut down. The family of Osage Musumusu invite all of Unamu Una come follow us Jolly Fikit for this Obunge marriage when it happened August 24, 2019. For inside executive banquet or when did they call Sparanza Banquet Hall? When it day 310 that host drive for Brampton. Papa, Mama, the jollification go start for four in the evening and we go do and we go enjoy our set teach good welcome back my name is Sakura and welcome to real life matters I'm about to sing my first single tell me how you feel
So the next one that I'm about to sing for you right now, this one is called I Can't Sleep. And this is for the adventurous at heart, the youngies, everybody that likes to party, likes to dance. This one is dedicated to you. I Can't Sleep. Yeah, baby. Whoa.
<laughs> but I do want to thank you for coming today. Thank you so much. And performing that wonderful performance. I want to thank Mr. and Mrs. Tudup from Tudup Hot Sauce for coming here today. I need one. I need, I need a whole lot because we have a tribe. <laughs> we have a tribe that needs some hot sauce right now. <laughs> and I do want to especially thank everyone today for tuning in to Real Life Matters. So bye for now. Thank you.